everyone! Good morning! This is Dr. Sarah Namoko and I am your lecturer in your research course. In this video, in this tutorial video, I will be sharing with you how to format your Word document. And, of course, in return, it is expected that you will also be able to, you will also be able to know how to format your Word document, especially your thesis or your dissertation. Okay? Good. Now, may I ask you, why do we need to format your Word document? Suppose, for example, your thesis or your dissertation has 50 pages, 70 pages, 100, 150, or your dissertation 200, 250, or 300 pages, and your references 50 to 100, 200, or 300 references. Isn't it a challenge to do your bibliography manually? Or you are going to do the referencing, the bibliography manually using the APA 6th edition format? Kay maingo ng atong advisor nga, Okay, my dear, uh, i-format ninyo na inyong thesis or inyong, inyong dissertation into APA 6th edition. Mayroon ka nga, hala, unsa ko nga na? So it's a challenge, right? And more often, taas kayo ang probability nga masayop ta kay we do it manually. But, with formatting our Word document, dili na siya challenge. No? Sayo na kayo siya. That's what we're going to learn. And in my another, in my next video, tunan na to unsaon pagbuhat ang in-text in citation. Aron nga sayon rapod ang paghimo bibliography. For now, pag-format lang sa tasa document. Okay? Good. Okay. Now, let's start. So, usually, where is my Usually, a thesis or a dissertation is composed of five basic chapters. Chapter 1 is for your introduction. Chapter 2 is your review of related literature. Chapter 3 is your methodology. Chapter 4 is the findings of the data analysis. And then, chapter 5 is the discussion, conclusion, and recommendation, and also your implication. Okay? So, dito lang sa sa chapter 1. Okay, once you know the basics, sayo na dahin ang succeeding nga chapters. Okay, suppose, your chapter 1 is composed of introduction to the research area, uh, background of the study, both global and Philippine sitting, and then you have the statement of the problem, you also have research objective, research question, rationality of the study, definition of terms, and so on, I'm sorry, and so on. So, how do we format that? First, you highlight chapter 1. Di ba ang chapter 1 sa tanan, sa mga literature yung ato mabasahan, sa mga libro yung ato mabasahan, dagko yun na siya o font. Di ba? Kumpara sa sections of sa body. So, we are also going to follow that. By the way, uh, my, my suggestions in this uh, tutorial uh, may not be the actual template nga gagamiton sa inyong college. No, It depends. But anyhow, at least you have the idea. So, once you highlight chapter 1, go to home and then go to styles. Sulod sa styles na kay heading 1. Click that. Makita na to nga ang heading 1, ang iyang font size is kalib, ang iyang font style is calibre light. Ang iyang size is 16, but we don't want that. So, how do we modify that? Okay, you go to heading 1 right click and then you have modify so it's still heading one and then the font style will be Arial. as uh, size will be 14 make it bold kay title man siya sa chapter and make it black of course it is centered and then go to format para sa spacing pwede po ta diri pwede po sa format and then go to paragraph before is zero after is zero, and then double. Okay, okay. And then there you are, okay? Next, how about the first section? Introduction to research. So, it will be heading two. So, I click na tong heading two. Go to modify. Okay, we wanted our format to be consistent na aerial, no? Modify. 
um, heading to. So, it is aerial. So, ang iyang size, dili na 14. Kay section man siya. So, ang iyang size is 13. Bold yapon and then black. Naka left justified na siya. Tapos, ang iyang spacing will be double gap. Zero ang before, zero ang after. Double gapon. Click OK and then OK. Oh. Oh, what happened? It should be aerial bold. Dapat dahil nakabold. Wala ito naklik ang bold. Okay. Okay. There you are. Okay. Now, how about the other sections? You just highlight the sections. Highlight the sections. And then click heading 2. Okay. There you are. How about this? No? Okay. Kani heading 1. Section, ang main section is heading 2. How about the subsections? We can assign this as heading 3. So, sa on man, highlight, go to heading 3, right click and click modify. Um, it's consistent tano aerial, and then this time 12 na lang siya. Pero bold yapon, and then ang color is black, and then it is still left justified. Format is Zero ang before, zero ang after, double. And then click OK, OK. There you are, no? Okay. And then how, the Philippine setting kay pariyaman siya o kuan as uh, heading is okay, still heading three. Na wala may sulod, no? Manghulam ta og sulod. Ato ta sa atong asa akong thesis, asa akong dissertation. So ato ta sa um, introduction, okay? Mahulam tau isula isulud, no? Kay aron yun di tamadugay. So for example, mao ni ang sulud sa imong introduction atong kopyahon. Okay, good. And then for the background of the study, um, you click that. Um, do, uh, click that, no? Background of the study, nata global context, tanaw na to sa akong ipang sulat diri no? Na global context, na ay Southeast Asia, no? Atong dugangan ng atong, atong subheadings, no? Na atay, um, South, South, ang sabi, South East Asian context, no? Then, sulat na to din ako. Then, sa ganinang heading, this is heading, go to home, heading, Three. That's right. No? Heading three. Okay. And then, here, na atay, narrowing down to the Philippines. So, Philippine context na siya. No? By the way, kung magsulat mo sa global, in a way, you are going to learn how to do that. No? Okay. Now, and then, statement of the problem, mangulam giha punta. Okay. Diyan lang tama. And so on. No? Kunyari, daghan na kayong sulod. Okay. Okay, biyaan na nato ni akong dissertation. Okay. Now, this is now your uh, formatted template. No? Formatted nga uh, Word document. So, for example, ibutang tao, wala na siya na format. Kaya naman, good, kaya na format na siya. For example, wala siya na format. Kanya may ngun, ang, ang advisor nga, uy, dapat double space. So, how do we do that? So, you just click the body of your text. Okay, highlight. And then, mangita ta dire. Kani, ako naman yung gitrabaho mo nang naana. But, for example, walay body, you just, wala, wala kayo, di ba, kaganina, ito man yung modify heading 1, heading 2, heading 3. Tapos, mag-modify ta o para sa body. So, go to another blank, no? Then, right click, modify. So, man na to. So, aerial, no? Consistent ta nga aerial atong buhaton. Of course, dili na bold kay body naman siya. And then, make sure that it is black. Um, it is justified. And then, it is double space. Zero before, zero after, double space. Okay, okay. Uh, there you are. Ay, hala, sorry. Wala na to na. Wala na to na aerial. Uh, okay man, lagi. Let's see. Okay, there you are. And then, be sure, okay. Suppose, wala siya naka-indent, no? How do we do that? Uh, let's highlight again. Kunyari, wala na tarong, no? Panalitan, 
wala na kay dobi ma'am wala mo na ka indent no wala na ka indent how do we do that you just highlight the body and then i go to body text modify na limtan man gud ka ganina so go to format paragraph there is a first line kani indentation first line it should be indented by half okay so click okay okay and then there you are okay na indented na siya okay so unsa may benefit okay number 1 kung naatay pangitaon nga word no na na, na format na bang uban okay kani wala pa na format so ato ni format this will be formatted to body text see sayo na kaayo trabaho na yung faces. Okay, naka-format na sa daan. Okay? Just click, 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 and there you are. Okay. Okay na. So, what's the benefit ko i-format na to? No? Gawa sa uh, table of contents o sa referencing. One thing is, if you want to find certain words in your text, for example, pangitaon ni mo ang web to tools, ngayon mo scroll down ka, no? You are going to scroll down, scroll up na po, mag-ana ang mata kay pangitaon. So, we are going to make your life easy. For example, you want to find the word web to tools. So, go to view and then click navigation pane and then click web to tools. There you are. Okay? Nabantayan ninyo nga highlighted ang sections. Okay? Highlighted siya meaning within that section makita ninyo ang word nga imong pangita and so on ba okay so aka ni wala na to na na format so ato i format no okay sakit sa mata tan-awon go to home format body text there you are okay send ka ayo so that's one and then panalitan taas na ko baga na kay among imong thesis no and you want to go to the definition of term kapoy magsigig scroll down no kani okay na pangitaon kay may sulod how about og daghang sulod for example, katong akong kaning akong thesis, no? For example, kaning ang akong thesis. So, ano sa man, ug daghag sulod, pangitaon pa ni mo no, asa man to ang akong definition of terms, no? Kapoy, no? Kapoy. So, we want to avoid that. So, how to do that? Pangitaon, click lang. Okay, go to the introduction of research. I want to check my statement of the problem. So, i-click ni mo diri sa navigation pane. There you are, no? Or, Rationality of the study, no? Sa Hendra Kaayo. Now, okay na ta. Now, let's go to uh, table of contents. How to do table of contents? So, ato ka sa pinakaibabo ni mo. And then, okay. Makita ni mo class nga na format na siya because of this triangle, no? Kaya, kana, wala man na siya. So, pwede rin ato siya i-normal. Okay. How do, how to insert a uh, table of contents? So, you just go to References. Of course, you find a vacant space up. No? Up sa imong, ibabaw sa imong chapter 1. And then, go to References. And then, click Table of Contents. You can choose this style, this style, or this style. But in my case, I choose this. No? Click that. And there you are. No? Naana din kay Table of Contents. Dobi ma'am, kay nag-abot man ang akong table of contents o ang akong chapter 1. So, by right, dili na sila dapat mag no? So, let's move chapter 1 to the next page. Hala, Dobi, ang chapter 1 na aman sa page 2. Unya, pag-abot sa ibang table of contents, sapat siya sa page 1. How do we do that? How do we correct that? You just click the update table. Click update entire table. And then, okay. Charan! Diba? Na-change na imong page number. Okay? So, sayon ra, ba? So, this time, I'm done with my first tutorial. Your turn is to format your assignments or your concept papers doing like this. Okay? Enjoy! Thank you! Bye-bye!